but we usually see Bane if we see anything at all. But the fact that Humanoid is going back to this Kassadin, this is a fanatic classic. We've been seeing this played from this team all the way since x Peke was starting to play this in season one, right? This is the kind of thing that Fnatic is really showcasing. And it's like, again, I don't, I don't okay. care about what you guys are doing. I am getting objectives. I'm getting money. I'm getting experience. Ooh. Now he's going to find Cortez in his own jungle. That's first blood. It does go over to June somehow, as he didn't even use Ignite. But that is still a huge first blood here for Fnatic to come. They use a couple ults. They use a lot of their pressure early on. It does mean that Team Liquid can take their turn, pick up this Dragon, and keep the game slightly in their face when they don't have to reach too hard. They have multiple strong ults that you could throw at impact, and he does not have flash. Here we go once again as the charm is going to come out, and that's a level five Alistair Dune in a lot of trouble, lands the stun, but he finally hits level six. Doesn't matter, he will go down as Yon is taking a bunch of damage, but Noah is alone in a 1v2. The flash comes in, and the Seri picks up the double kill as we did have action in the top. Really relevant around the objective of the grubs. That means, hey, with five grabs already going over, we'll talk about that later as Oscar. Oh, it was not a counter gank, and they're trying again. Yeah, they're looking for Oscar in, and he is in a bunch of trouble, already taking some poke from the Ziggs as the stun will barely miss him. But Umpty here with this ult available should eventually get this done, right? I mean, he's going to be uh -oh. rooted down, and he just gets taken down in the 1v1, not like this. Uh, it's going to be a very big summoner taken down. As the Ziggs, the satchel is huge for getting away from threats, but no flash now might make side laning much more difficult for him. Yeah. Ooh. As the action never stops here. I'm sorry, you don't get to talk too much as they're getting on in onto the Zeri. They get the shutdown and even get Court AJ. As immediately this game is turned on its head again as Fnatic pick up two kills. It's a complete script reversal immediately. Dragon, yes, they got five grubs, which means that Twitch chat will be on their side taking these down. Uh, Oscar? Yeah, that's yeah, the ult over the top as Oscar in and is just going to be burned down. Has a lot of damage, but he doesn't have a very large. This is exactly what I was expecting, Joshi. Yeah, I definitely agree. Looking at how these two teams are constantly looking to fight each other is very similar to what we were looking at before. Team Liquid has not turned down hands checks and they are really playing with fire right now. Yeah, they don't really have to stay here. I mean, they have a Ziggs in bottom lane getting huge amounts of value, but I guess they feel safe. They have the rumble up there on the top side. Two and zero is impact. And, you know, Fnatic are going to get that top outer, but they lose an inner on bottom lane as well. And AP is going to be just so happy Ooh. with this trade is maybe looking for a bit more. Oscar Rinden does have flash, but even with that, he's just going to get flash on. There's no escape for him. Tries to do a bunch of APA, but it does not matter as he will also collect a kill. Yeah, really not going to be letting this hurt. I don't care that you're taking down my top side because I have people who are still able to watch the demolition. Yeah, I mean, as Ziggs has played well, we already saw it was what it was able to do in game uh, series number one, rather. Uh, game two between BLG oh. as, uh, yeah, Oscar is just dead again, and again. Plays at the wrong time. Team Liquid has really been showcasing that right now as they've caught him out three, four times. Yeah, you know, it, it might just be Impact's uh, opinion, but I feel like he's doing a good job of proving that point yeah. here in game number one, right? And and look at this. I mean, you said the full court press is, yeah, Umpty might go down, and he will, but it's a flash, and, you know, they get the kill, but they also lost their top turret. So it's just extra gold going in the pockets of you know, Team It's extra dragons, it's extra benefits that will be permanent, and you're still going to feel good about that as Team Liquid. The only question I have is how quickly do they want to start up this Baron? As we do see Razark already trying to prepare for that. He's trying to get some deep vision in and trying to get some uh, control over this map. But now we're just going to have a fight as it is in Alistair out of we position. Teleport. And Young just going to avoid that one as now the TP coming in from behind. Humanoid is level 13. He's like, please, I want to do something in this game, but I don't think he's going to have a chance to do that. It's a very nice ultimate here from the side of Core JJ. And now Umpty's getting resets. And this team oh. fight is all Team Liquid all the way. As from downtown, you've got Rumble Ultimate, you've got Ziggs. I doubt it. At at all. This is just honestly a kind of domination play coming out from Team Liquid. I was expecting that this series was going to be a little bit closer, but it feels as though Team Liquid around this giant oh. stone in the middle, and by the time he actually gets damage in, yeah. Team Liquid's already on the other side. I was watching live uh, as that was going on. Humanoid took the middle of the super and the, the Mega Bomb from the Ziggs, and now he's just dead, I think. I mean, he is going to rift walk away once, but. 
Uh, not a second time. They have the Baron buff. They're trying to uh, take down inhibitors 21 minutes in. Ooh. Is that ult just going to miss impact? And Razorg's like, man, I'm not able to hit this. I'm not able to get much follow-up. Although, finally, the Rumble will go down as they do get that pick. But take a look at the just the Q from the Zakes hitting both Oscar Rinnan and Noah. But uh, Noah, they're just out no of the way. And now Oscar Rinnan. He is going to hold on to his flash, but I don't think he's holding on to his base for very long. No, I mean, even with impact going down, this is what we were seeing with all the other structures in the mid lane, just because it forces Fnatic to respond to everything else they're doing. You don't need minions to actually take down this inhibitor either. But we do have to keep in mind, even though it's still getting closer, it goes in. Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of trouble, but immediately the follow-up comes in from Cortez. The poke is there, June is low, Resorc is low. He's trying to get away. And June is not very long for this world. Umpty does get that reset. And again, the Cassidy's just behind enemy lines. He's like, guys, I swear I'm trying to help. <laughs> He's not going to get much value there as he just gets pushed out of the fight. And Team Liquid maybe trying to, we had a very long game, as you mentioned before, maybe trying to give us our shortest game yet as we're looking at 24 minutes and they're already chipping away oh, at the man. base. The Satchel going to take down a Nexus turret already. Yeah, definitely a good idea. I mean, the, the timing. Oh, he's getting. Oh, yeah, they're just going to send it. Okay, they're looking for Noah. He is going to ult away, but immediately Umpty does get into that back line, and the front line is burning. Um, Oscar Rinnan in a lot of trouble. Humanoid desperately trying to hit level 16 as he's sitting on 15, and now we do oh. still have this Cassidy. Nope, he's gone. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> down he goes, and I think the Nexus is going to follow very soon here. Team Liquid looking for an extremely dominant first game win over Fnatic here at the EWC presenting League of Legends. And they will take down this first Nexus of the series. Look, I would.